Ever wondered what can lift 20,000 tons in one go? Sea cranes! Construction of the Airmood began in the early 70s, and the giant sea crane was finally completed in 1979. At the dawn of the new decade, the Airmood stood tall with its 73,877 gross registered tonnage. This giant semi-submersible sea crane at the beam measures 282 feet. It had a draft of between 38 feet and 93 feet. The hull of the sea crane was made up of two floaters. Each of the two floaters has three columns. To move the weight, the giant crane had two big cranes. The crane on the right, or the starboard side crane, could lift an astounding 3,000 tons in one go. The second crane on the port side could lift 2,000 tons of cargo. But these were the cranes that were originally installed on the ship in the 70s. In 1984, these two cranes were upgraded, at which point they could lift an astonishing weight of 9,000 tons in tandem, with one of the cranes lifting 5,000 tons and the other 4,000 tons. After setting several lifting records in the 80s, the Ermoud was decommissioned after 38 years of service. In 2017, it was scrapped, and they say 98% of the materials for the ship will be reused. So in a way, this large sea crane will give birth to other sea cranes. Built by a Dutch shipbuilding company, the Svanen was built in 1991 and has been serving the Netherlands ever since. It was commissioned by the European Storabelt Group when they needed to construct the Great Belt Link, after which the crane was commissioned to construct two more bridges. After these giant projects were complete, the Svanen was used to build 14 offshore wind farms until 2020. How did it aid the construction of all these projects? Well, the giant sea crane was built using the engines from a different lifting vessel called the Astrea. Once the Svanen sea crane was completed, it had a length of 334 feet and a width of almost 236 feet. The weight of the entire sea crane stood at an astounding 20,562 tons, and it had a lifting capacity of 8,700 tons. Thanks to the powerful thrusters in the front and the bow thrusters, this giant platform could still move at seven knots. If you want to talk about big, then we have to talk about pioneering spirit. All Seas Group from Switzerland is the owner of this giant ship, and they're proud of it because the 2013 ship can smash that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, it can accommodate a crew of 571 on board. It cost $2.6 billion to build the ship. The ship weighs 365,000 tons when in transit, which can go up to 932,000 tons when stationed. The length of the hull is 1,565 feet, and it has a beam of 407 feet. Because of its astounding weight, the Pioneering Spirit has 12 Rolls-Royce thrusters, each producing 6,050 kilowatts of power. This allows the ship to reach a speed of up to 14 knots. The main purpose of this giant vessel is to help lift heavy parts and aid in the construction of oil and gas platforms. Also, the Pioneering Spirit is the ship that's employed whenever record weight pipelines need to be lifted in the middle of the ocean. Just one year after it was built, Pioneering Spirit helped move Repsol's mobile offshore production unit. The Mapu weighed an astounding 13,500 tons, but it was no problem for the Pioneering Spirit. This is one of the newer sea cranes on board a ship that's designed to transport some of the largest cargoes in the world. This Chinese heavy lift ship is semi-submersible and can carry large mechanical parts and other ships. Thanks to its large buoy, nearly 607 feet by 141 feet, this deck is capable of carrying large bridges. How do we know? Well, that's because in 2020, MS Zenhua 33 became popular in Sweden and the world over when it was tasked to deliver the Goldbrunn or the Golden Bridge from China to Stockholm. After the China Railway Shanhangguan Bridge Group constructed the ship, they loaded this 460-foot-long bridge on board the heavy lift ship. The entire weight of the bridge was 3,700 tons, and the ship was meant to bring it from its homeland to Sweden in three weeks. Even though the voyage was delayed by about a month because of bad weather in the Atlantic, the ship still managed to bring the bridge and install it at Slusen. With a top speed of 13.5 knots, it was a major operation, but this monstrosity managed to pull through. Named after the company that commissioned its construction, the Saipem 7000 was built by an Italian shipbuilding company. It's considered the third largest semi-submersible sea crane in the world. This monstrosity was ordered in 1985, and it was completed right after smashing that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, it was completed in 1987, just two years after it was ordered. 
It's been in operation from 1988 until today. The Saipem 7000 has a displacement of 172,000 tons. It has two giant cranes which are capable of lifting 7,000 tons each and a total of 14,000 tons when joined together. The sea crane's overall length is 650 feet with a beam of 285 feet. The height of the Saipem 7000 from the keel to the deck is 141 feet. With all this power, the Saipem 7000 set the world offshore lifting record of 12,150 tons. The amazing feat occurred in the Mediterranean Sea when it lifted the weight of the Sabratha deck. Another record followed in 2010 when the Saipem 7000 lifted about 11,600 tons for the BP Valhall production and hotel topside and placed it on dynamic positioning. After all these years of operation, there was an incident in 2022. On the 14th of April, they were testing the sea crane, and one of the main blocks broke releasing the test weight and causing the entire platform to tilt. After some wobbling, the sea crane was stabilized and thankfully no one got hurt. Until the construction of the Sleipnir, our next pick, the SSCV Theolf was the largest submersible crane vessel in the world. The only reason the Sleipnir surpassed the Theolf was that it's a modern sea crane. The SSCV Theolf, on the other hand, was constructed in 1985. At the time of construction, this mega project had an astounding 136,700 gross tonnage. The length of this sea crane was 661 feet and the beam measured 290 feet. The height of the entire platform stood at 472 feet. To move this marvel of human engineering, they installed not two, not four, but six 5,500 kilowatt thrusters. The two powerful cranes are placed on two pontoons, each having four columns. The crane's total lifting capacity was 14,000 tons, which allowed the Theolf to set the world record for the heaviest load lifted in 2004. However, that record was later beaten by the Saipem 7000. Aside from aiding in bridge construction, it was also used to construct the popular Alpha Ventus wind farm in Germany and the Johann Sverdrup oil field in the North Sea. This giant sitting in the Panama Canal is a sea crane commissioned by Hirema Marine Contractors in 2015. The company that made it was the Semcorp Marine from Singapore, a company that needed only four years to build a behemoth like this. The Sleipnir dethroned the Theolf as the biggest sea crane in the world in 2019 and is now the only one in the world which can lift a weight of 20,000 tons. To achieve this, Hirema Marine Contractors spent an astounding $1 billion on the mega project. The name will sound familiar if you're a Norse mythology fan. That's because the giant crane was named after Odin's eight-legged horse, the Sleipnir. And just like Odin's horse, the SSCV Sleipnir has eight columns, which makes for four on each side and a single pontoon per side. The sea crane has a length of 720 feet and a beam of 335 feet. And to move, it has two more thrusters compared to the Theolf for a total of eight, each with 5.5 megawatt propulsion. Immediately after the construction of the ship in 2019, it set the world record for the heaviest load ever lifted. During the Leviathan project created by Noble Energy, using its two cranes, each with a capacity to lift 10,000 tons, lifted a weight of, are you ready for this, 15,300 tons, setting the world record in 2019. Bye for now.